All right. Now, this isn't going to be a blender tutorial, but it is going to be something that I find kind of interesting. Now, here's the situation that I'm, I need to resolve. <clears throat> I have um, this drive right here, which is a one terabyte SSD. And currently, I have all my blender related stuff on here. But I want to take all my assets, like files that doesn't change, you know, like uh, HDRIs and textures and stuff like that, which is here, which is made up of all this stuff. And I want to move this to another drive, another SSD. That way I have fi fast access to it. But as you can see, it's 430 gigabytes. Okay. Here's the problem I have right now. I don't want to buy another one terabyte SSD right now. I have this drive, this drive, and this drive. Both, all three of them are SSDs, but they are only 240 gigabytes each. Now, I could take the assets and split them up on multiple drives over here, but that would be a little bit cumbersome I guess you could say, especially if I'm trying to find something in particular, it's easier if I have them all in one location. So here's what I am going to do. Let me go ahead and close this. I'm going to create a storage pool. And if you're familiar with Windows, they have what's called a, let me make sure I get this right. It's called a storage spaces. Now, if to find storage spaces, all you have to do is just, you know, type, uh, pro yeah, just type in, well, in my case, I just had to, had to type ST and it comes up. Now, I can go straight to storage spaces now and it might work, but sometimes it will get glitchy. So, what I'm going to do, since all three of these drives are allocate it and they have a drive letter assigned to them it's easier if I do it this way and it's less glitchy I go to here and go to my partition manager which is built into Windows and of course you can just type in partition and this will pop up I'm gonna go here and on those three drives you can see them right here 220 gig 220 220 or 240 however you want to look at it and all I'm going to do is just right click on them and just make sure you pick the right ones if you plan on doing something like this because this will destroy any data that's on it. Now, I don't have any data on any of these three drives right now. I have everything that was on it moved off, uh, backed up to a separate location. So I'm just right clicking on it. I'm going to click delete volume. I'm going to do that for all three of them. <clears throat> and essentially all I'm doing right now is um, basically taking away their drive letter to a degree that way they don't have a drive letter assigned to them and that's important when you go into storage spaces because it makes it less glitchy now what I'm going to do I'm going to click restart and then I'll be right back with you. All right, my computer has uh, restarted and I'm going to go into the storage spaces manager. Manage storage spaces. Let me move this over to the other screen so you can actually see what I'm doing. And then all I have to do is just click on create storage pool. And you have two lists right here. Now this is one reason why I wanted to allocate it unallocate those drives that way it puts them in a separate area right here and I don't risk damaging or using a drive I don't intend to add to this storage pool now all three of these are the 240 gigabyte SSDs so I'm just gonna make sure all of them are checked and then click on create pool and it should just take a few seconds to prepare the drives <clears throat> and there's several different ways or ways this can be config configured now 
I'm going to just name this uh, Blender Assets. All right, and I'm going to give this drive letter H. Of course, you can give it whatever drive letter you want. And you have a two-way mirror, which in my opinion, using a two-way mirror on three drives would be kind of weird. The only thing that way, only way it makes sense with three drives would be a three-way mirror. That way you have two backup copies. But see, that would only give me um, um, something like um, um, 240 gig capacity is all because there would be you know two duplicates of every file or three copies of every file and two duplicates however you want to look at it now I don't have to have any um, mirroring for this because I already have all this data backed up on a large RAID archive that I have so I'm just going to use simple uh, with no resiliency and all it really does is just add all three drives together so basically you turn all three drives into one large drive you add all the capacities together so this is very similar to RAID 0 but I think they actually call it spanning because it's not actually RAID 0 although it kind of feels like RAID 0 from the user's perspective but I'm just going to, you know, um, set it there with no resiliency. Of course, you could set it to parity. And parity, basically, it's going to put the data on the disks in a such a way to where if one disk fails, the da all the data is still there. And then you could just replace that one disk, and then it could rebuild the parity disk from that uh, from the other two drives but I don't need that I'm just gonna put it on simple which is the least secure but again I don't ha it doesn't have to be that secure for me because I already have a backup of it gonna click on create storage pool and as you can see right here I have one storage spaces called blender assets and it's drive letter H simple no resiliency 665 gig and then it, this shows the drives that are actually in it all right so now <clears throat> i'll just go ahead and close this and if i go to the file manager you'll see right here blender assets that's showing up as one drive but it's made up of three drives so that's going to be a whole lot better click on properties 664 gig and now I can take this as all the stuff in the in the assets folder that I wanted to move copy and then uh, come over here to the blender assets folder or drive and click paste and now all my data is being transferred over onto that uh, storage spaces pool but anyway I just thought this was kind of interesting if uh, you guys are interested in seeing more tutorials like this or more videos with stuff like this, it's not related uh, specifically to Blender, let me know. Now, granted, I don't plan on doing a whole bunch of these because, quite frankly, I don't. Um, this is a Blender channel, so I'm not going to do a whole lot of stuff like this. But every once in a while, that's if most people don't mind. But anyway. I guess that's it. Later, people.